guys, how are you? Thank you for coming back for another episode of Kitchen Therapy with Candy Lou. Today we are going to um, get busy with some greens. I know that the caption said, um, come have a pot of gold. Well, there's no gold here, but there is a pot full of greens that we're gonna put on the stove very shortly. So again, thank you. If you guys are on the East Coast, then you are in the same predicament as me. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you. Hi, Jennifer, how are you? I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm experiencing right now and why we are making what we're making. All right, so look out the window. This is what, while you guys are in sunny Arizona and sunny California, this is what we are facing right now. See that guy out there chopping his, chopping that uh, ice up out there with that shovel? It's no joke. This is the life or maybe it's not the life. But uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna survive. We are gonna make it. And we're gonna make it by getting down with a nice hot pot of soup. All right, so before we get started, I wanna talk a little bit about snowy days. There are some benefits to snowy days. You guys don't have to go to work. There's less traffic on the road. You have time to sit at home with your family and reflect. Um, if you have kids, maybe you use this opportunity if you're on the East Coast um, to play games with your children. Um, if you have a spouse or significant other, maybe you guys watch movies together all day today. I don't know what you have the opportunity to do, but for me, a snowy day, it like, it means warmth. It's funny because it's cold outside, so you think a snowy day means cold. Well, it does out there, but a snowy day for me, it means warm on the inside, all right? So hopefully you guys made the most of your cold and snowy day. And for those of you guys on the West Coast who are hot, I don't know what to tell you because this meal right here is probably not going to be appetizing. You're sweating. What is it, 90 degrees out there in Arizona right now? 90, 80, something like that. So um, for those of you guys on the East Coast, let's get busy. For those of you guys on the West Coast, I guess you can just watch and and I don't know, feel good about yourselves <laughs> that you're not freezing. So, all right, first things first. On a snowy day, it is essential that you have a good snack. Now, I'm not a big chip eater. I don't do Doritos, I don't do Lay's. Uh, Tiffany, you're bragging right now. You're sitting by the pool, who cares? Um, dangle your feet in there a little bit longer for me. But for me, I'm totally not somebody that's a big chip eater, a big cookie eater. Um, but I like savory. So how do I satisfy that savory, salty sort of fix? How do I get that fix without eating chips? I'm going to show you right now. I'm doing something a little bit different today. Um, I'm going to cut up this bread into thin slices. All right. And once I cut it up, I'm going to stick it in the oven for a couple minutes. This time I'm not going to burn it. Whoever watched last time, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I burnt that bread to a crisp. But I scraped it off and still ate it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in the oven. I'm going to watch it carefully and I'm going to toast this. Once we get finished, we're going to top it with the topping. Now you can put whatever you want on yours. I got something pretty cool yesterday. I saw it on sale. I always get stuff on sale. You know, if it's not on sale, it's probably not coming home. <laughs> Erica has jokes. I'm going to be careful with the knife. So this right here, um, it's, uh, I don't speak Italian, but it's caponata, caponata eggplant, eggplant appetizer. Caponata, isn't it funny how certain words make you feel illiterate? <laughs> Gotta start sounding stuff out. Uh, I need to read more. But caponata eggplant appetizer, it is so good. I made a little bit earlier today because um, I was actually really enjoying that, enjoying being inside. So we're gonna put this in the oven right now and uh, we're gonna toast it up. Give me two seconds. Let me see if you guys can see what I'm doing over there. All right, so here's my pan. I'm sticking it right in this pan. Just lay it in there flat. Put the broil, I like to broil everything on high, as you know. So I'm gonna stick this in here. And ta-da! There it goes. Hey, Shayna. Nice to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, Erica, thank you for all the LOLs and commentary. I appreciate it. And Roma, nice to see you. Um, okay, so for those of you guys who just tuned in, it is cold and it is snowy in New York. And so for those of us who are cold and, and snowed in, because we are snowed in today, the trains were closed down, the Metro North was closed down, we have to survive. And so we're surviving by eating all, we're, all day long. We're watching movies, reading books, talking on the phone, and we're eating. 
And so I'm eating some good food today. I'm starting off with this, uh, this bread that I cut into thin slices. I stuck it in the oven and we're gonna top it really shortly with this eggplant appetizer. It is so delicious. I had some earlier today. So that's what we're doing. Now, as far as our meal, we're gonna get that going. This meal is gonna take literally a matter of minutes. I got this meal from my awesome mother. It's a soup, it's, I like to call it a pot of green. Cause you know, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. We're literally what, a few days out, it's on Friday. And we are gonna go green from now until then. Friday, you gotta make sure you tune in. I have the most incredible St. Patrick's Day meal you would ever, matter of fact, I'm tempted to show you, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. What's up, Heather Duncan? Thanks for tuning in. And David Brown, nice to see you. So I'm not gonna spoil the treat for Friday. So for today, we're gonna stick with what we are working on, which is this bread. Let me check it out. Okay, we're good. Um, we're gonna let that bread continue to toast. And then we're gonna pull it out and we're gonna stick this eggplant appetizer right on there. I'm repeating this for those of you guys who just tuned in. For those of you guys who just tuned in, we're snowed in and we're staying warm by eating some incredible appetizers as well as a really hot pot of soup. So this soup, like I said, my mother, she gave me the recipe. I'm excited to make it. It's really simple. Now, it may not sound appetizing, but you can't go by what's up in the ear. You gotta go by what it's gonna, what, how it's gonna go down in the mouth, all right? so. We have right here, glory greens, all right? In my house, we love greens. I love greens, like, I can just devour them, all right? So I don't need the pig foot and all that in it for it to be delicious. I, I just love them. So I might be partial to this recipe because I'm a green lover. So we're gonna put some greens in there. Hang in there, don't get turned off by all the greens. We're gonna put some broccoli in here. We're gonna chop up celery, which I don't know if you guys knew this, but celery is an incredible anti-inflammatory um, anti for the digestive system. So if you have digestive problems, celery may be one of the ways to go. So just read up on it to make sure I'm not leading you astray. <laughs> I'm not a doctor or a nutritionist. Let me take this break. Hold on. Hold on. Almost done, almost done. Okay, so what's up Mike Johnson? Mike in the house. All right, so, oh, we also have Brussels sprouts. We're gonna say, I know this is getting real crazy, but it's all about the greens. We gotta go green. Where they say, go big or go home? I need you to go green or go home. You know what I'm saying? So this is, get, this is about to get crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're gonna, we're gonna throw in one thing that's not green. I have some mushrooms here. I love me some mushrooms. I don't know what kind of, let me sweep these up. There's so many types of mushrooms out there. These right here are just some regular old, they don't have a name, they're just called mushrooms. <laughs> they're not shiitake, they're just mushrooms. So here we go. Let me get the pot of water boiling first. We're gonna do a simple broth. I'm not doing anything from scratch because nobody really has any time for that. Let me check this bread. No one has time for that, that sort of activity. Let it go. Remind me about the bread in two seconds because I'll probably forget. So here we go, we're gonna fill this pot right here up. We're gonna fill it up with water. Now, it depends on how many people you're trying to feed, that's gonna determine how much water. I'm not a big measurement person when it comes to cooking, so if you're looking for measurements, I'm not the one. Now, for baking, I'll give you measurements all day, but for this kind of stuff, just kind of fill it out. You know what I'm saying? You know if you have like two people, you know you probably fill it about right there. If you're trying to just, if it's three people, go up a little higher. You just gotta eyeball it, eyeball it. All right, check this bread again. It happens quick. Bread's ready. All right, so the bread is done. You guys, look at this. I did not burn the bread, Melissa. I did not burn the bread. So here it is. It turned out perfectly. I'm so proud of myself. Little victories, they feel so good. Okay, so put, this, put these little victories. I'm gonna call these little victories. All right, you guys, so this is now called we have a name for it. I was calling it sliced bread with the topping, but now they're little victories. Uh, put the little victories on your plate and we're gonna load them up. Mm. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm not really that excited, but um, I'm excited to show you guys. So look, here's what it looks like. Can you see? Is it really that clear? Why am I, why am I frowning up? You see that? It's hard to see. Okay, so anyway, I'm just gonna load it up on here. Now these, oops, these are good to have even if you have, if it's just you, you're watching a movie, 
you know, you want a good crunchy snack. I like crunchy stuff. But I don't like eating around people who crunch things. Ironic, right? Just let me be the one to crunch. Don't crunch. I don't like that. Um, but these are also good to have if you have a party. So if you are having some form of like a little get together and you don't have a lot of money, you don't have a lot of time, you don't know how to cook, all you need to do is get some bread, slice it up, put it in the oven, broil it at a nice temperature to where it gets nice and golden, and um, take it out, throw a topping on top. I don't care if you just have, if you pick up a little jar of something like this, this is eggplant, eggplant appetizer, it's caponata, all right? Caponata. So you just throw it on here. If you have tomatoes and cilantro or whatever it is, cilantro, yeah, whatever. Stick it on there. Just mix it up and throw it on top of the bread. And I and if you want to get fancy, serve it with a nice wine. You know, wine makes everything better. Just makes everything like, mm, you know. So listen to this crunch, guys. You got to hear it. Here we go. Oh. You hear it? Can you hear the crunch? Let me try another one. Mmm. It's so good, guys. I'm telling you. Oh, okay, it doesn't look that. Let me cover that up. Hold on. <laughs> I promise, <laughs> it tastes better than it looks on the plate. <laughs> but, mm, that's wonderful. I didn't burn the bread this time, Miss Nubel. I didn't burn it, ta-da! So I've, I've named these. Thank you, Chesla, for, <laughs> ooh, ooh. Thank you, Chesla, for the compliment. I appreciate, or not the compliment, but the feedback. You can hear the crunch. But I call these now little victories because I did not burn bread. Okay, let's make this soup. Here's what we're gonna do. Hmm. I somehow turned on a movie on my computer. That's distracting. Turn that off. Sorry guys, give me two seconds. Oh, okay, there we go. So, fill this pot up with water. Remember, I don't really do measurements, so just kind of figure out how many people you have in your family and how much you want people to eat and fill the pot up accordingly. It's that simple. Again, the food that I'm making is really food to anybody with hands. If you have hands, then you can do what I'm doing. Look at this. I just took this and filled up the pot of water. Filled up, filled up the pot with water. That's it. You know, I think I'll put a little bit more water because I want, I want more. Put the stove on. Ta-da. Now, here's the part we're gonna kind of fly through pretty quickly here. I'm gonna just chop these little uh, Brussels sprouts up because I don't want to eat a whole Brussels sprout. I just don't, I'm not, you know, up for that. I love little Brussels sprouts. They're like little cabbages, you know? And I love cabbage, so it makes sense that I love Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna put this over here. Anybody want one? Would you, would you care for, would you care for one, huh? Huh? Okay, so here we go. So I'm just gonna cut these up. Um, do you guys celebrate that? I mean, not Valentine's Day. Do you guys celebrate St. Patrick's Day? And if so, what do you guys do? Um, I know there's some people who are really super like into it. They go out, they do the green beers. Um, some people take it a step further and they like are really excited because they believe in things like leprechauns. I don't know where you fall and like, <laughs> which category you fall in, but um, let me know. Feel free to chime in. I just like a reason to celebrate. Anything festive, I'm there for it, you know? My sister, Erica, she's very much into any, every holiday. She's into St. Patrick's Day. Um, she's Thanksgiving. She's very festive. She decorates. She does the whole nine yards. And it's cool because she has two boys, and her boys love it. So if you guys have kids, man, 
just go crazy when it comes to holidays. It makes it so much more fun, you know? So what I'm doing right here, you guys, is all I'm doing is I'm just cutting up some Brussels sprouts. We are making us a pot of greens. Now, not greens like we have on Thanksgiving, like greens with a pig foot. No, we're doing a, a pot of everything green you could imagine, all right? It's just like a little leprechaun in a, in a pot, essentially. That's all it is, all right? So I'm just going to keep cutting this stuff up. We have some uh, Brussels sprouts. Uh, okay, the only thing that's not green that's going to go in there is mushrooms, all right? So we have the Brussels sprouts, broccoli, celery. I love celery, man. Oh, you guys, I got to show you or tell you. If you want to beef your celery up, <laughs> all you got to do is this. Grab some cream cheese. I learned this from my sister's mother-in-law. Deborah Perkins. She takes cream cheese and she chops up green olives, mixes it all together, and then throws it into the crevice, the crack, the crease, the nook, all right, of the celery. And you just eat it. And it is like the best thing ever. Try it. I'm just trying to tell you, it is where life is. Life is there, <laughs> right there. Okay, so I'm cutting these real, I wish, I should have cut these ahead of time, but they weren't thawed, they were hard, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to struggle. I didn't want to struggle, I don't want to struggle soup, you know what I'm saying? So, oh, you guys, okay, while we're here, while I have you guys here, a long time ago, I did this video on hopelessness, all right? I did it for people who felt like giving up. Well, to this day, I still get people who randomly want feedback. They want to know, like, how I can help them through their moment of help, helplessness. This video I did literally maybe three years ago, four years ago. I had like long hair at the time. And um, I got my hair cut for like two years. So it's definitely, it's been maybe four years. So anyway, I got a comment today. I want you guys to listen to it. And I want you to help me figure out how, how I should respond to this person, okay? And I'm, gonna, I'm able to read it because they put it on social media. So they know that like people are gonna read it. So listen here guys, this is a person who responded to a video that I posted a long time ago about depression and hopelessness. She said, he said, I have social anxiety and it makes it so hard to make friends. I feel so empty inside and I have hardly any friends anymore. I don't know who I am anymore. I used to have so many friends and I used to be so happy and filled with laughter and now I feel so lifeless and so uncomfortable and so alone. I don't know what to do anymore. I feel like things will never get better. Tell me, what would you guys say to him? What should I say? Because I, I mean, I have my thoughts on, on that. Social anxiety is a real thing. You know, you get in public, you get with people and things just get a little weird for you. You get uncomfortable. How would you recommend he push through social anxiety? You guys have any suggestions? Um, he used to have so many friends. He doesn't have any friends anymore. He used to be filled with laughter. You know what my question for him would be if I could ask him a question? I feel like in these situations, advice doesn't really work, but I think questions, I shouldn't say it doesn't work, but questions are really helpful. Questions make a person think. And it, when they think, they take ownership of what they're going through and they create their own solution. So I would ask this person something along the lines of, what are you doing with your time? Where are you contributing? Because you know, you know, they say it's more blessed to give than receive. It's so true. And not just monetarily, with what you have on the inside. So my question will be for him, what gift does he have on the inside and how is he sharing it? He probably has lost touch with what his special, unique gift is. All right. There's more to a story, I'm sure. I'm not minimizing it, but that's one area. So, hi, Keisha. So, chime in. Let me know what I should say to this guy who told me that he has social anxiety. He's feeling lifeless. He has no laughter. He feels uncomfortable. He feels alone. And he does, make, he does not think things are going to get better. What should I tell him? All right. Chime in. Let me know. Let me know. All right, so we are just about done. I think we have enough. We're almost finished with these Brussels sprouts. I know this is taking a long time. Next time I will prep these Brussels sprouts. Next time I won't even make Brussels sprouts. How about that? All right, so these are done for the most part. We'll just pretend they're done. I'll have a couple whole pieces in there. I'll get over it. 
There we go. So now, what I'm gonna do is this. Keisha, we are making ourselves a big pot of green. We're making a big pot of green. I know you wanted gold. You thought, you know, this is some sort of, you know, get rich, quick scheme where you can come just get a pot of gold for nothing. No, we're gonna get a pot of greens. Yes, we are. Green everything. We got the green celery. We got the green broccoli. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We got the green Brussels sprouts. And um, the green collard greens. And we're gonna throw in some mushrooms, which are not green, but we're gonna do it. So here we go. First things first, let's season up our water. We wanna make a broth, and we're not making homemade broth. It's not happening. No, not boiling any chicken bones. Ain't nobody got time for that. Nobody. Who in here makes their own chicken broth? Huh? <laughs> not me. So here we go. Now this stuff has like a trillion milligrams of sodium, so use it carefully. Uh, but who uses something carefully when you want to get good flavor? You know what I'm saying? It's like it's stuck between a rock and a hard place. You want to make it good, but you can't use a lot of it. Go figure. So we're just going to use a lot of it and then eat a lot of vegetables. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take you guys with me. Let me take you with me so you can see what I'm doing. Da, da, dee, da, da, da. Hi, Miss Dawn. Hi. Kiki, how are you? I haven't seen you in forever. Hope all is well in your world. Moon, what up? Nice to see you. Okay, so here's, here's what we're going to do. See this pot of water right there? I'm just going to jazz it up. This lighting is horrible, but it's all good. It only did for a second. We're just going to jazz it up with a little bit. <laughs> like that oven light was going to help with a um, little bit of this chicken broth. All right, so here we go. Just, ooh, smell it. Mmm, you smell that chicken? How do you describe certain flavors and smells? I, I, I need to really work on that because I'm like, it smells like chicken. <laughs> like chicken noodle soup. But it has like a nice zingy, zesty flavor if you will okay so we'll start with that i'm praying it's not too salty don't laugh at the fact that i'm using a spatula i don't have all the necessary kitchen equipment that i need at this point i really could use a nice big deep spoon you know but someday one day let's sample it let's see how we're doing so far we need more okay so you oh you smell it Lorenzo, thank you. I knew I knew somebody could smell it. Okay, so he has social anxiety. Yes, Lakeisha. So I was explaining a, a little bit ago that there was a young guy who watched one of these videos that I made, and it was about hopelessness and depression. And so this guy reached out and just said, he's feeling all kinds of ways right now. He's feeling like he's lonely, alone. He's not filled with laughter. There's no joy. I mean, all these things. And... He wants to know, like, I think he wants some encouragement. So I was asking you guys what I should tell him. He also said he suffers from a social anxiety. I've felt socially anxious before, if I'm honest, you know. I feel, you know, you get that little, the little, I don't know if I felt it like he feels it, but I felt some type of way before. So if you guys have any input on what I can do to encourage this guy or say to encourage him, let me know. I'm going to message him back after this. Um, thank you guys for the compliments. I appreciate it. Thank you, Moon. Thank you, Keisha. I would love to have my own show someday. So, so far, I don't, I put a few teaspoons of this in there. What, three? Was it three? Anybody count? I'm going to taste it. Oh, yes, honey. It's getting better. Uh-huh. I'm using a different spoon to stir it. Okay, this is actually getting pretty good. I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling pretty good about this, but I'm going to add just a little bit more, okay? There, oh, you can't see. Here we go. Ah. Oh, you remember that guy? I want to try it. Okay, so that is done. We're going to stir this up. You guys, literally once, as soon as this, this is brought to a nice boil, it's heated up. Mm. We are back in business. All we got to do is drop all these goodies into, as Rachel Ray says, into the jacuzzi. <laughs> we're going to drop, I don't know why that tickled me, but we're going to drop these into the jacuzzi. All right. 
You like my Oprah voice? No, that's not Oprah's voice. Oprah, Oprah goes, everybody, celery for you and you and you and you and Chris Craney's on here. What's up? Cam Go, what's up, girly? Um, if you want a good laugh, you need to go ahead and go to Chris Craney's page, like his page, become a friend. His stuff is funny. This guy, I didn't know, I've known him since he was younger. This guy makes me laugh like nobody's business. So if you want to laugh, go check him out. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to, we got our Brussels sprouts cut up. We're going to drop those into the jacuzzi. We have our greens. We don't need to do anything with that. We're just going to drop those right on in there. We're gonna put this over here because we don't need that bowl anymore. We're gonna use this knife. The last time I was with you guys, I didn't clean up as I went along. And when I finished, I had like this big mess. I was kind of like feeling some type of way. <laughs> oh, for those of you guys who just, uh, Erica, I cannot do Candy's voice. Oh, I was thinking that that's our uh, Amharic language for those of us who know Amharic. Hello. Isn't that right, Camp's Gold? I'm, do, I'm replying to, um, to messages. That's why I'm talking random right now. Here was our appetizer we made earlier, you guys. It was so good. Mm. Yeah, baby. It's good. This right here, you got to make it. On a snowy day, you want a snack, you don't want chips. Get that bread, slice it thin, put it in the oven, broil it, throw a nice topping on top, something along this lines. This is eggplant. You have yourself an incredible, delectable munchum. All right. Again, I call them my little victories because I didn't burn the bread this time. So have yourself a little victory. It goes a long way. On the stove, we have our pot of gold brewing. <laughs> Actually, the, the gold is the, the, uh, the green isn't in there yet. But we have the broth. The broth is it's heating up and the, the flavors just merging together. Thanks to this handy dandy bouillon powder. It saves us time from having to actually go make broth, which again, like I told you, we don't have time to make broth. Not happening. So we're gonna chop up our veggies. We're gonna throw in this incredible, all these incredible veggies, and we'll be good to go. We get a plate. All right, guys. So here we go. We're gonna make this real quick. I don't know how to chop that. I will try. I will try to do that super duper. Quick chop like this. You know what? I'm gonna do that. We're gonna get through these vegetables real quick. Cut off the tip. Just kidding, I can't. Maybe it's just my knife. So just cut these up. What if I cut off my finger? <laughs> what would you guys do? Okay, so we have some celery right here. We're gonna put our celery on the same plate as the Brussels sprouts. This is a completely green soup. You guys, greens are so good for you. They are, in more cases than not, a superfood. And in the world that we live in, with all the toxins and crazy crap that's out there, we need as much superfood as we could possibly get our hands on. We gotta start taking better care of our bodies. Now, I know it's a contradiction because I did just load up that entire pot with a bunch of sodium from that powder but it's all about you know finding the areas where you can add the healthy healthy little the healthy options to your meal and to your day so this is we're going to make up for all that sodium by adding a pot of greens now i made this meal for someone special her name is sharon sharon hendrix eisler she doesn't eat meat and she said candy lou on my last video would you mind making something without meat she said you know i would like that she may not have said it just like that, but that was the gist. And I said, you know what? I think I can do that. So what I did was today, I made a completely, absolutely, 100% free of meat soup. No meat at all. All right? So give it up for Sharon Eisler. She is the inspiration behind this meal right here. Her and St. Patrick. Oh, yes. He's the man. St. Patrick's Friday, we're about to go green on Friday, so we figure let's go green a little bit earlier. So this is for my skating buddy, Sharon Eisler. Give it up. So the celery is cut. Do I need that much? Oh, I guess I'll throw it somewhere. I love, um, shoot, there we go. I love um, 
celery that's like sitting in broth. Like there's something about celery like that. It's just so good. For those of you guys who weren't watching earlier, I gave you guys, a, I gave everybody a really good um, option for their celery. Next time you have celery sitting around and you're like, man, I don't have any ranch or I'm tired of ranch or whatever it is, you want to do something different, get some cream cheese, Philadelphia cream cheese or Kroger cream cheese or fry, it doesn't matter what the brand is. Get green olives, smash it up, mix it up together and fill this little sucker, that little groove up. I'm trying to tell you, it is like heaven on a green stick. All right, so that's just another option of what you can do with your celery. Four ways to get in your anti-inflammatory vegetables. So here we go. We have so far for our soup. What's up, Atoya? Thank you for tuning in. I feel so honored. Um, so what we have right here, I'm going to back up just a tad bit so you can see what we did. So far we have this we call them little victories because last time I burned the bread when I was making the, um, the toast for the last meal. But we put on top of the crispy bread this really delicious, delectable topping called eggplant. It's an eggplant appetizer called caponata. And it is so bomb. I toasted it up. It had a nice crunch at the time. Not as crunchy now, but it's still good. So it's just a really good... Mm. Sorry, guys. Just a really good appetizer to have on a snowy day when you want something to eat, but you don't want to eat chips, you don't want to eat cookies. You want something kind of grown up and not in a bag. That's a good option. Okay, so now we have for our soup, we have, let me take you over here. I'm going to show you what we got going on. Okay, flip this around for you. We have this broth. I don't have a big spoon, so this is what I'm, <laughs> what I'm using. I should probably invest in a big spoon. So what I did for this is I used this bouillon powder, which has 1.5 million milligrams of sodium <laughs> per teaspoon. No, not really that much, but it's quite a bit, but it's good. You can use it sparingly if you choose. We're just gonna load this baby up right now. We're gonna break this broccoli apart and we're about to just drop everything into that bathtub over there, as Rachel Ray calls it, the jacuzzi. We're gonna throw these guys in the jacuzzi. So break the broccoli up. Remember, this is all green. We want some super foods in our body. If you're anything like me, you like sweets. And this is the time of year when, really, there's really no time of year. All the time, we should really be eating better. So I'm, gonna, I'm making a special commitment to myself to start eating better. Oh, you have a lot of kitchen supplies? Yes. That would be wonderful. I would love that. Maybe I'll come visit you in California. We'll cook together. I've been thinking, what if, oh, all of my ideas, and I can't share everything, can I? Oh, I'm like, what the heck? Wouldn't it be kind of cool if I could like come to people's houses and cook with you guys and we could like broadcast live from your homes? Would that be cool or is that kind of like doing too much? Let me know what you guys think because I would love to come to your houses or you guys come where, I don't know, we could meet somewhere and cook, you know? I think it would be pretty freaking fantastic. So, here we go. I'm throwing all this stuff in here. I'm tired of too much prep, too much prep. Let me go ahead and slide. You're coming with me. You are coming with, hold on, in a second, you're coming with me. Okay. I wonder if I should do it from here. Is this better? That's probably better than a dark corner. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna throw in some greens. Now, one of the first ingredients, is that light? Look at that light. One of the ingredients that we're gonna use in this soup are collard greens. Now, I know it may sound a little crazy, but we're putting greens in chicken broth because we can. So here we go, just take a handful. I'm thinking maybe, to rinse this. Hold on, give me two seconds. I mean, it's probably okay, but you never know. A lot of it is like pre-washed. There we go. I feel better about that already. And you can break it up. It's all up to you on what you do. Oh, see, Atoya? You cook yours in a low-sodium chicken broth. 
The thing is, I don't know if mine's a little sodium, but next time I will. I'll try that. You would love, okay, you love the idea. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate that. So I will definitely look into that. We'll explore that. Maybe that's next. City to City with Candy Lou. Um, Atoya. That's really cool. Yes. Okay, you're commenting. So I'm reading the comments. All right, so I think we have enough greens because we're, this is going to be a soup. Now what I want to do is I want to dump in all my goodies. You guys, we have some goodies. We have, look at this right here. I love fresh chopped up vegetables. Like, look, you see the lighting? What if this fell, just slid off the plate? So here we go. I'm going to dump these, dump these kids. Atoya, I'm coming over. We're cooking. Me and you, girl. Me and you. This is going to be pretty hearty. I'm, I'm excited. My mother gave me this recipe. This recipe. She totally was like, Candace, you're going to love this. You're my daughter. I birthed you, darn it. And I know what you like. No, she didn't say it like that. But, oh, mushrooms. You guys, I'm going to throw some mushrooms in here. Look. Some, you like how I'm like just touching everything? <laughs> so there we go. Just drop them in. Drop, 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 drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Drop, drop it like it's hot. There we go. Ooh, feedback. So, for those of you who just tuned in, I was telling everybody. Oh, I gotta put some more stuff in there. I was telling everyone that I did a video a long time ago. Quit making fun of my fingers, Erica. <laughs> just playing. Um, I did a video a long time ago about hopelessness and depression, and it was to inspire hope, to inspire people to like you know, find their sweet spot in life. And so I still get comments on this video from time to time. I'm adding in the broccoli, okay? And so I get comments, and this one guy, he just commented right before I went live. And he was like, um, he suffers from social anxiety. He feels lifeless. He's lost his laughter. He doesn't have any friends. And he does not feel like it's going to get any better. So I asked for some advice, and Lakeisha said, oh, wow, I see. You can tell him he can conquer social anxiety, um, by taking the time every day to just have a casual conversation with a stranger. That is good advice. Maybe while he's in line at the grocery store, just say hi. Let's see here. See more. Um, oh, this is good, Keisha. This is my god sister. Keisha's dad and my dad have been friends since they were like five years old. And they're now 62 or three. I don't know how our dads are 60 some, 62. So forever. So anyway, let me keep reading her advice. Um, so talk to a stranger while he's in line at the grocery store. Just say hi and try to strike up a conversation. You never know who you might meet. It might be the, it might be the person to help you on your journey to have peace of mind and happiness. That is so true. Or he can volunteer to help with the less fortunate, which will put things into perspective, giving him purpose and gratitude. Yes, yes, yes. That is the truth. The more gratitude we have, the healthier of a place and space we live in. One more, so she had one more thing. Sometimes picking up a new creative outlet like painting will help ease his anxiety and give him something to look forward to. Just a few suggestions. I hope this helps. I'm definitely going to use that advice. I'm going to, I'm going to share that. Um, okay. So Sharon, tell me what you mean by that. The source of anxiety is the key. Oh, okay. So you're saying identify the source. It, encourage him to identify the source of his anxiety. Not just saying, let's cover it up with some good feelings. But you're saying, let's find out the source of it. I like this. And sometimes the source of it is the simple fact. Why am I using my milk? My dad does that. Um, the simple fact that we don't have enough gratitude. The more gratitude we have, the higher up we go. So the gratitude is definitely a, a huge component, but I think him finding out the source of it as well is going to be really helpful. So I'm sharing this advice. If you guys have any more advice, let me know. This is, I love helping people out like this. I love it. Without the root, ah, without getting to the root, it's going to grow again. Yes, as long as the root is there, it's going to keep growing. Miss Sharon, it's the truth. Ain't none but the truth. The truth. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just give this a stir. You think I should add tomatoes to this or am I doing too much? Should I let well enough be alone? Keisha, that's an amazing idea. I do, I do that myself daily, unconsciously, knowing that I'm brightening someone else's day and even mine. Yeah, so 
I like that you guys are intentional and you're obviously your world changers, you know, if you're being intentional like that and you're out there in the world, engaging with people intentionally to make a difference, you're a world changer. You are literally people like search their entire life looking for their purpose, looking for meaning, trying to do something important. When you are an example, Moon, Keisha, Sharon, Vanessa of being that living that purpose out just by being you just by reaching out to people intentionally that is a big difference that is making that's the change you are being the change that the world needs you know what i'm saying like so keep that up you're making a difference i want you guys to see this soup because this soup is brightening up my world it's brightening up my world Ooh, yes honey you got everything in here just everything i've Mmm, I kind of want some more broth. Maybe I put too much stuff in here. This is going to sound... No, I won't say it. But yeah, I'll just... Okay. Um, That looks so... Oh my God, yeah, let's look at the colors again. You have so many different... The monochromatic whirl of magic up in here. Um, You have... Let's see here. We have light green and dark green and vibrant green look at that rich like you can just see the antioxidants up on that you know what i'm saying you just see the antioxidants they are just chilling up in this leaf like you're not going nothing bad's gonna happen to you when you eat this these mushrooms i mean yes mushrooms are fungus but geez some good fungus where's the kit where's the celery celery where you at that's what i'm here for i'm here for the celery i've come for the celery oh yeah okay so i'll leave it alone for a little bit that looks some mighty good it looks mighty mighty good yes all right so am i making anything else no oh yeah okay so now check this out when you eat soup like this no meat um i feel like you need something to make you kind of full you know what i'm saying because you're gonna be hungry i mean i'm gonna be hungry i don't know about you i eat, i have a good appetite so I'm going to eat more. So what I'm going to do is to cure all the hunger that's going to come along with eating soup, just soup, I'm going to make some biscuits because we need some sustenance. We need some sustenance. I don't like this light right there. <gasps> Carrot. You think carrots? I don't know if I have any. I don't think I have any. I mean, it's like a few and they're little baby ones. It's not that many. It won't be good in there. Next time I have tomatoes. Should I put tomatoes? Should I put tomatoes in there, you guys? I have these right here. I don't have any potatoes either. Actually, yes, I do, but I have to cut those up. I'm trying to keep it vegetable, like straight vegetables. Um, should I put tomatoes in there, guys? These things I thought were $2.99. When I got home, I looked at the receipt. It was $6. Way. Like, not cool. Okay, so I hear tomatoes. I hear no tomatoes. I don't know what one more person chime in. That's what I'm gonna do. Let me know. Tomatoes? No tomatoes. Maybe I'll leave it green. I mean, it is like pink. Ah! So dramatic. It did startle me, but I don't know if that was like a little like dramatic behind that little theatrics. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on. Was it 400? It's usually 400. This thing like was written with 350. This was ready. This was ready. Okay, so yes, you guys say yes. Okay, Serenity said yes, so I'm throwing some tomatoes in there. We'll get those biscuits going in a second. I'm gonna throw in a few. Should I, you think I should um, cut them up a little bit or just leave them whole? Oh, no, they're big. I'll cut them up. I'll put a few in there. These are so, they're like, I feel like these were like in the Garden of Eden. These are huge. These are not like, look, what can I compare? I need you to see how big this, this is a teaspoon. I need something for scale. This this is a cherry tomato, guys. You know how big a spoon is. Tomato, tomato, tomato. Here we go. So tomatoes, I'm going to cut these up real quick right in front of you. I'm going to rinse them off first. Throw on a plate. Throw on a plate. Come right over here to you. And I'm going to cut them. There we go. Slice them up. Maybe I should cut them this way. Or maybe I'll do it this way. Just half them. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. Throw some more in there. It's like only, ooh, ooh, yeah, the color looks. And I'm not gonna cook it for too long because I don't wanna boil out all the nutrients. Throw a little bit more in there. These are some big, these are huge. Some big kahunas, or I ignore that, ignore that last part. Some big jalopies. All right, so here we go. Throw them in here. Let's take a peek. And look at that, you guys. Oh, you guys, this was such a good idea. Thank you for encouraging me to put tomatoes in there. I like that. Let's wait. I'm sure you heard me. I'm like saying ridiculous things. Okay, that's done. Now it's time for the biscuits. Now, one thing I like to do is this. I prefer, I prefer personally to use foil in my pans not because it's gonna keep it from sticking, no, no. It's because I don't feel like doing all the extra leg work and cleaning it. I mean, I'll still clean it, but it's not gonna be the same as just put stuff on it straight up, all right? Okay, so here's our biscuits. I don't like off-brand biscuits. I don't mind other things that are off-brand, but biscuits, boy, you can taste the off-brand biscuit from, you can spot it a mile away. They don't taste right, but these right here, <laughs> these right here, these right here, these are gonna be good. Not enough room. There we go. Let's just stick these in here. Ta da! Yeah, it makes, I mean, it makes sense. You know, you don't want to, it is super lazy. Pop those biscuits in the oven. I got two more left. There weren't enough room on that pan, so I will get another pan. I have all these like dramatic, like aluminum pans. I really got to invest in some kitchen, some kitchenware. One day. There we go. I'm embarrassed to show you guys how big this is. It's huge. Ow! Erin Nickerson! How are you? How's your little baby? Um, okay, so I'm just gonna kind of like give you guys a um, catch up to speed for those of you who just tuned in because we're just about done. This is what we've done today. We made a pot of green. So since St. Since St. Patrick's Day is coming up on Friday and he has the whole pot of gold situation going on. We didn't have any gold, but we did have green vegetables. So we threw some collard greens, fresh broccoli, mushrooms. These are not a special type of mushroom. They're not shiitake. I looked on the package. All it says is mushroom. It's just mushroom. Um, Brussels sprouts and, let me see if I can make this clear, celery. Yeah, oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Okay, um, and then we also have some tomatoes. This is last minute. Thanks to Serenity. She was the final say. These tomatoes are huge. They're like, they're not cherry tomatoes. These things are like plum. I don't know. I think they're done. I think I'm taking it off the eye right now. How long do I boil it? Just, ouch, this thing is hot. Just to, get it, just to get it hot, and I'm taking it off the eye because I don't want to boil away all the nutrients. So I say probably about 10 minutes just to get it, or depending on how, hot, how soft you want your sturdier and more chunky vegetables, like the broccoli, I probably would leave it on just a little bit longer just to get it a little softer. But if you want your vegetables crunchier, then cook it for a shorter amount of time. So that's, the, that's it. Be careful, Lacey is killing us. We need balance. We are what we eat. No judgment while we're working it out. Oh, I know. What, how am I being like? What did I do? Tell me what I did. Be careful, Lazy. Oh, you mean as far? Well, Lazy in terms of Sharon, we're talking about um, cleaning dishes. You know what I'm saying? Um, so there we go. So we have our soup right there. All I'm doing is just cooking, the, just letting it simmer, let it set in the in the broth for a little bit. Biscuit should be done in like two minutes. So now what do I want to do? I want to scoop some out. I want you guys to see the soup. I'm gonna put some in the bowl. Mm, okay, here's a bowl. And like I told you, I didn't have a... 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Processed foods can be really dangerous. The biscuits, for sure. It's so not good for us. Um, but I want to be hungry later. You know what I'm saying? But I'm watching the processed foods, Sharon. I'm watching that. You're right about that. So here we go. Let's get this soup in the bowl. Let's get this soup in the bowl. Check this out, you guys. For those of you who just tuned in. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. I know you love your biscuits. I love my mama's biscuits. Okay. Who said that? Martin Lawrence? My mama's biscuits. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to scoop this old school. You know how you used to do? You have the, the mug. Oh, and I'm going to show you. This looks so wonderful. Oh, yeah. Let me oh, yeah. This looks good. Let me sh I'm showing you this right now. Look at that I just want you to look at that stare at that okay so here we go let's lift it up kind of sift through it see what all we have here we have our uh, tomatoes and celery stuck together <laughs> where's those mushrooms the basic these are just basic mushrooms call them basic okay here we go I'm gonna taste it now I'm gonna put this on all right Y'all ready? That's good. It tastes like, see, I've never had greens with chicken broth, but it's something, it's a nice little marrying of flavors. It's a nice marriage there. <laughs> let's try, let's, let's try the actual vegetable. <laughs> you like how I'm slurping? <laughs> Oh, let it cook a little longer. It's cook a little longer. Those greens are a little. Uh, they need to cook a little longer. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. I'm gonna let the rest of those greens. I'm gonna throw those back on. Woo! I'm gonna throw those back on. Let me show you. Put a little pepper on here. There we go. How's that look? Wait. Can you see the pepper? Oh, grandmothers make everything look look easy. Let's see. Okay, I'm putting, the, that's good though. Listen, this is really good, but I am going to, I mean, chicken broth, you can't go wrong with chicken broth. Mmm. <laughs> I'll put it back on the eye right now. Check these biscuits out. Oh yeah, they're coming. I'll show you the biscuits. Look at those. They're coming along. They're coming along. James Baldwin, those are for you. They have butter in them, no honey. You can, I'll mail them to you. You can put your own honey on them. And um, I see you up there, Jeremy Gooden. Thank you for watching. I hope you know what you're doing, LOL. Sounds good, though, and looks good. Don't mess it up. Thank you. I'll try not to mess it up. Um, yes, I decided I couldn't find my lipstick. I thought I lost this color. It's one of those wet and wild colors. And I thought that, um, I like literally, I thought it was gone. And I was like, well, I'm a creature of habit. So like, I'll just wear like the same lipstick all the time, as long as it goes. But I found it today and I was like, I'm wearing it. I'm wearing it. I'm going to make that this week and throw a little smoked turkey in. Ooh, yes, definitely. Okay. Well, I'm not going to prolong this, you guys, but, um, this was so much fun. Let me, where's my prop put up? This was so much fun. I'm gonna have to um, take a picture of the finished product. Like the biscuits and everything. Um, I just hate, you know, let me check, hold on. They're almost, they're almost done. But no, I'm gonna take a picture of it and post it. You guys, please go to my YouTube page. All I'm doing right now at this point is posting these pictures, excuse me, these videos the live videos, I'm posting them on YouTube, but I want to, I really want to increase my following so I can reach more people and actually at some point make money doing this. This will be so fun to do, you know, like for real, for real, you know, I'm doing it for real because I'm, I'm a real person and I'm doing it, but I like to like, this would be a great career. You know what I'm saying? So, um, follow me on YouTube. It's, um, Kitchen Therapy at Candy Lou, C-A-N-D-I dot L-U or dash, I think it's dash L-U 
on YouTube. On Instagram, it's candi.lu. You guys are not following me on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. Share my page uh, with people that you know. Um, yeah, it's a ton of fun, and I love doing it. So, um, yeah, I wish that this... Hold on. One second. I thought about the biscuits. They cook really quick. This oven cooks fast. There's two different settings. There's like the convection oven and then there's like the regular oven and I use the convection and it makes everything like go super duper quick. So um, anyway, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for being you. Thank you for helping our friend out. We to deliver, uh, we deliver hope to some. As soon as I hang up with you guys and take this soup off the eye, I'm gonna message him back and I'm gonna share the advice and tidbits that you guys gave to me to give to him. So thank you for making a difference today. Thank you for tuning in. Go green or go home. Get prepared for Friday because Friday is St. Patrick's Day and we are gonna go all out. You guys, I have the complete setup. I already bought it. It's here, it's in the fridge. We're about to like go to town for St. Patrick's Day. All right, so until then you guys, um, take care, God bless you and I'll see you soon. Mm-hmm.